Hello everyone, and welcome to Drake Makes. Today we're going to make this low poly city fast using some quick techniques in Blender. But first, if you enjoy 3D level design and working in Unreal Engine, I've got a great deal for you guys. This video is sponsored by Wingfox. Finding proper guides for Unreal Engine can be a real hassle. Wingfox provides you with some professionally made courses. Their latest tutorial series will teach you the ins and outs of how to make your own first person shooter game in Unreal Engine 5 from the ground up. Thanks to the Black Friday sale going on right now, until December 6th, this series is currently 50% off. And if you go to the affiliate link in the description and use code BFCM, you get an additional 30% off of your order. This is the best way to support the channel. If you go to the affiliate link in the description, you can save big on these really fantastic tutorials. If you want to support future projects, be sure to go check out Wingfox. And remember, that is code BFCM. Thank you guys. Now, back to the city project. The source of inspiration for this project came when I found this Blender add-on called Blender OSM. What this does is it takes the models from Street View and ports them into Blender as a usable model. I wanted to take this and use it in Unreal Engine. So I enabled the plugin and got to work. It's as easy as going into your files, dragging in the RAR file. You know how to install plugins. Let's get started here. So first you hit select and you open up the map, and here you can select any city in the world and drag out a rectangle that you want selected into Blender. When you first get this set up though, you're going to get a little error when you try to import. This is because you need to set up your directory as to where these files are going to go. That's easy enough to do, just go back into where you installed your add-on. You'll see this button here, go ahead and click that and just assign a directory. So then you go back into your map, you drag out your selection rectangle and hit copy. This is going to copy all that data. Back in Blender, you then just hit import. Give it a couple seconds and your city will pop in, untextured and ready to go. For texturing, I used Stable Diffusion AI to generate some skyscraper textures. Once these were generated, I ran them through the program EaserGAN to upscale them, and this resulted in these textures. From afar and for the purpose of this project, these worked great. So moving forward, in Blender I used some cube maps to try and project these textures onto the buildings. For the final render, I forgo this process and do all the texturing work in Unreal Engine. Using edit mode and spamming the L key, I'm able to select a bunch of random buildings to assign a new texture to. So I baked the textures into this model and ported them over into Unreal Engine. Once I added a thick volumetric exponential fog volume, it was looking kind of cool. The buildings were too uniform, but at this point I think the concept was worth following through with, so I went back into Blender and selected a much larger selection of city, this time from New York. Which came out looking like this, automatically because of something that Street View is doing, all of these buildings have their own materials already, so it was easy to give them separate materials once it was ported over into Unreal Engine. This was incredibly time consuming though, as I had to hand place 400 materials throughout this whole project. So using the modeling tools, I just cube mapped the textures onto the whole thing uniformly. Because of this, some of the windows are like clipping with ceilings and I don't have fine control over the individual buildings, but from a distance it doesn't really matter and it sells the effect I'm going for. So yeah, like I said, then I just started hand placing a ton of textures. Once those textures were all in place, I took the previous city I'd built and used that to fill out the environment around the main city. At this point, it was starting to look pretty cool. So, more city. Because these assets are so low poly, it's not really killing my frame rate at all to be moving these giant assets around. Yeah. 
All right, moving swiftly forward. In my head, this is a sci-fi city, and sci-fi cities always have big streams of uh, swarming flying cars to give the whole thing some scale. I found this vehicle template, which I wasted a ton of time just driving around in, but I wanted to use these models as our hover cars. If I just got rid of the wheels, I imagine that they'd look like a decent flying vehicle from a distance. The problem is, I didn't know how to make something follow a path while simulating a scene live. I went through this whole tutorial series and slapped together this web of confusing variables on the node graph, and I was able to successfully get one car to follow a path, but I could only have one path in my scene unless I redid the whole thing, so this wasn't practical at all. Instead, I found some documentation from the people at Unreal Engine, and they had a sample project where objects were able to follow paths. And they did this automatically via script. So, I don't really know how it works, I just copied over the information from this project, which I'll link into the description, and added it to my flying vehicles. So to get rid of the wheels, I just made a transparent material and assigned it to them. Like I said, since these are viewed from afar, they don't really gotta look that good. To use that path follow project, I dragged in a spline and stretched it out super far across the map. I then took the model I wanted to follow that spline, and dragged it into position. Then by hitting add, I'm able to assign that follow script to it and tell it exactly how I want it to move. And this finally worked. Honestly, I can't believe this isn't just a feature in the base on Real Engine, because this makes it so easy. I took the one model once it was set up and just started going ham, copying and pasting until I had a proper swarm of flying cars. I adjusted the speeds that they follow the path so each car was slightly different, that way it simulates a more realistic traffic feel and they aren't just moving uniformly across the screen. I also had some going in the opposite direction so that way it actually looks like two-way traffic. Furthermore, to break it up, I added in some different materials to make the cars slightly different colors. And then it's just back to batch copying and pasting. press play a lot to check the density of the cars as I added them. I'm not sure exactly what the right amount of vehicles is, but eventually you just find a sweet spot. More dense areas, I'd want to be going through the main city while keeping the areas through the lower streets uh, a lot less filled in. I was also pretty amazed. Uh, by the end here, there's a couple hundred cars being animated at a time on the screen, and the engine doesn't falter once. So, go Unreal Engine. And with that, this is pretty much complete. I hope you enjoy this sci-fi city I put together.
you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you next time with more creative content coming soon.